get it all lined, and here we go. There we go. We're in it. Four, four. This might actually be the last regular level, and then I, I know you mentioned that there's a boss fight. I don't know if it's the next one or the the level after that. I do not possess enough in San Aquarium knowledge to be exactly. Able to I I don't I don't either. But um, didn't haven't we had boss fights before? Or am I just crazy? You're just crazy. I guess we haven't. I am. <laughs> I guess I got confused reading that. My memory is really bad these days. But um, it's all right. There's just in San Aquarium is just a very dynamic game. <laughs> yeah, it, re it really, it really messes with your head in, in a way that a lot of reality just kind of, you know, can't. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. New guppy. Um, here's something uh, fun. Uh, me and Mitchell, we went and we got some uh, Popeye's uh, chicken nuggets last night. Oh, yeah. They were terrible. <laughs> oh, um, no. Hold on. There's a new. This is, this is an, an alien. What is that thing? So th this is this was an alien I experienced uh, on my own. Um, so it has two parts, and both parts uh, can destroy your fish. Uh, th there's like a head and a tail, and like once you defeat the head, then it switches to its tail, and it's it's actually it's 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 really big and it's really bad. <laughs> Just oh. like uh, the uh, the Popeye's chicken nuggets we had last night uh, were Ooh. terrible. They were big? They were much larger than a regular chicken nugget like that you would find elsewhere. Okay. Um, well, what's what's bad about it? You know, me and Mitchell, we honestly, we had a difficult uh, time determining what exactly made it so bad. Like, I, I think maybe it was, like, the breading just wasn't very good. I also think that they may have been overcooked. And, but at the same time, they may have been, they may have set out for too long or something. Like, it was just, like, a combination of a whole bunch of different stuff. And it was one of those rare, rare times where it was, like, I, I, think, I, think, I think I'm just going to eat something else. <laughs> Like, it was just really huh. bad. That's weird. I mean, I've, I know I've been to Popeye's with Mitchell before, so presumably both of you guys have a high opinion. Yeah, I mean, I, I like their, their chicken tenders. Um, and, I mean, their, their regular chicken is fine, too. But I was, I was going in expecting the chicken nuggets to basically taste like uh, the chicken tenders, you know. Uh, but yeah. small or something, but no, they, they just didn't taste very good. I am a diehard fan of the chicken sandwich. Oh yeah. I think it's so good. I think people, I've, I've talked to people that think the Chick-fil-A sandwich is better. Mm -hmm. And I think that's stupid. I think. <laughs> I love how on this channel, whenever people start talking about food, Somebody always ends up t calling somebody else stupid. <laughs> it's like a it's like a weirdly reoccurring thing. Interesting. Um, well, I mean, I think it is stupid. <laughs> I stand by it. So okay, so you're you're more of a Popeyes chicken sandwich than uh... Popeyes is the best chicken sandwich. Chick Fil A is also good. But in no universe is it tastier than Popeyes. Got it. I, I you know, um, I'm just, I'm just not really a chicken sandwich person. If I want the chicken, I'll just, I'll just eat it, you know, without any, any uh, bread. <laughs> I guess I don't know. That's sort of how I used to be, but um, I, I don't know. Some, there's something good about the chicken sandwich format. It's just. I feel like it's accessible. It's like the people's... Mm. Um, the people's choice. Yeah. 
I feel, you know, it's something you can just eat with your hands. You don't have to like hold individual things. Although I do like nuggets from time to time. I think Chick-fil-A chicken in nugget form is really weird and tastes You know, I don't odd. I don't think I've ever actually had the Chick-fil-A nuggets. For real, huh? I mean, I've, I've had the other menu options, but I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've ever had the nuggets. The nuggets are interesting. Um, I think what I heard they do is they like put like pickle brine in the batter and it gives us like a weird tangy flavor and hmm. like it's it's kind of good. I think they just do that with their chicken in general. So that's yeah, why it's got that. That's how I think it works whenever it's a sandwich that's like, you know, you got you got the full breading, like the breading to chicken ratio is what it is. But when you go to the nuggets, it's like too much breading. So it's like too like it's it's got like this tangy sour kind of thing going on. Mm -hmm. It's really strange. <laughs> I I don't think I've had any chicken that tastes like that except there. All right, so just if you if we're talking about chicken in general, which which place has the better chicken? It doesn't Between have to. I mean, it could be any any restaurant, I suppose. Ooh, I didn't get the missiles. That's a tough call. I think I think Popeyes and Chick Fil A both have their strengths. I think KFC is is. Equal parts underrated and overrated. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been disappointed by KFC and I've been surprised by KFC. So I think KFC lacks the consistency to contend with those two. Right. Um, Kane's? Kane's is good. Is a veritable foe. Zaxby's goes directly in the trash for me. I've had oh, Zaxby's. Really? Times. I've had it way too many times to like stick with a positive opinion, I guess. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, that's fair. Um I'm not gonna think lesser of you if you if you say that you like or if you dislike my favorite, you know, option or whatever. Well, I'm just I'm just curious as to what you think. I mean I can't say the same. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hmm. Gosh, I don't know. I. That's such a hard question. Um, like if you just have to choose one, just just one. I'm gonna go with Canes. Between everything I've said, I think Canes is, you know, they offer one thing and they do it great. Okay, you know what? You can leave. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, no. No. I'm sorry. Do we have a Canes? Okay. No, actually, I like I like canes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, As, casual canes enjoyer. <laughs> right. I. Uh, yeah. Hmm. You know. Hmm. I I feel like I have to give Chick Fil A the upper hand just because they have the waffle fries, and the raw the waffle fries for me are are like. Hmm. You know, like that's like, that's what makes it for me. Huh? I'm, I'm all right on the waffle fries. I don't, <clears throat> I'm not like a diehard waffle fry fan, but <clears throat> I will say I'm not a big fan of crinkle cut fries. If we're uh, talking fries, that's a whole can well, of worms. That's true. I I did just ask about the chicken. I I guess I wasn't. Yeah, I, I was, I was, I was, I was taking into account everything on the menu, and you were just thinking about the chicken. I... Yeah, fast food fries is a contentious topic. I don't know if Mitch has told you about the second best fast food French fry argument, and then it completely devolves into what's considered fast casual and fast <laughs> food, which I think everyone, or at least my line in the sand is different than everyone I've talked with it about. I think fast casual, like I think people are too lacks to throw that term around i think there's so much more fast casual overlap that counts as fast food than there <laughs> is that doesn't like like freddy's mm -hmm. people argue that's fast casual but that is fast food that is the same price yeah, as mcdonald's i would agree no, no nicer necessarily um 
you know, I'd go through the drive through when I lived in Colorado all the time. But, you know, it's just, it's, I don't know, like, but we, we, we talk about the semantics and we're like, oh, it's shake and stick, or like, is it, is it just shake, steak and shake? Steak and <laughs> shake, shake and, yeah. Steak and shake. Um, you know, like, people call that fast casual, but it's, like, way cheaper than, like, regular <laughs> fast food, I feel like. Yeah, and every, every, um... Steak and Shake location feels like uh, the seats that I sit in are, are just. I'm I'm about to slide out from all the grease, so yeah, I I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's always the second best fast food French fry conversation because I feel like it's almost always McDonald's that everyone's like, oh, it tastes hmm. so good, you know. And I guess everyone's entitled to their opinion, but I think. I think McDonald's definitely does have objectively the best French fry. They do have really good fries, but I don't know. I don't know if I would they say have, they're the best. I've, I've rarely been and gotten like soggy fries from McDonald's, but I've gone to Chick Fil A and like when the waffle fries are crispy, they hit really good. Yeah. But when they're not, which is like half the time, they're like, oh, okay, just kind of like waffle fries, which is fine. Uh, what is that Cyclops? <laughs> so this, yeah, so this thing, this guy, he shoots out orbs, and the orbs, like, ricochet, and they can hit, they can hit anything that go in their path. Sure, okay, so he's kind of like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, cool. but yeah, the, the, that little slimy alien guy he's definitely want to watch out for him he, he's tricky um but anyway yeah we we're talking about fries uh so i guess would um with backyard burgers would that count as uh which would where, where would that fall under your categories i don't know what that is <laughs> oh you oh you haven't had that okay uh -uh. it's uh, I think it's like it's more of a regional chain, um, like a southern thing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, but they, I really like their fries. It's, they're also waffle fries. I don't know. I just like waffle fries more than just regular fries. They're fun. There's more surface area, more opportunity for a good time. Exactly. I had some waffle fries out of like a freezer out of an air fryer and it was like so good. It was like hmm. just as good as Chick-fil-A fries. I forget the brand, but... Um, oh, the, all these... Okay, hold on. All uh, my fits were going right where the alien appears. Okay, so Noah, I need help. What should I upgrade? We have a lot of money. Gun. Upgrade the gun? Okay. Gun. Um, what else? Carnivores. I'd upgrade the gun maybe two more times and then get three carnivores. Okay, hold on. Let me, I'm, I'm grabbing no more coins. And resetting. It's a big deal and you have to do it right now. <laughs> yes. Okay, hold on. And, oh, oh, and also the gun needs to be upgraded. Uh, let's do that. It's after we get some more coins. Okay. It's... It's weird because it's like you have to wait until you see no coins dropping before you can reach up there, you know? Right, yeah, you don't want to... Don't want to miss wanna out on your people. on your uh, collection, you know? Exactly. Wow, that is... That is uh, fishy. <laughs> Got a fishy little little tank right there. Absolutely. Now this might be the one where we need to invest in some carnivore eaters. Yeah. Because we got we got a ways to Ooh, go. Yeah. Um, we have a fifty percent price increase on these shells, which ugh, in this economy, man, that's rough. It's yeah, it's it's something we're gonna have to cope with for sure. Much nope. like sometimes we have to cope with soggy fries at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> he handled that expertly. 
Thank you. Okay. I mean, the, you are seeing a future uh, e athlete here, as uh, as you've mentioned. So it's only uh, you know, only the best, only the best on this channel. Yeah, I mean, you're pioneering new, new, uh, new content. Places, yeah, you're you're going new places with your uh, your insane aquarium affinity. You're gonna you're gonna be a star. Hey kid, sign this contract. Play fish games for me for the rest of your life. <laughs> Play fish games. That sounds so like it sounds like code for something really like awful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I feel like I feel like that's a, that's something Jared said. <laughs> that's some Hollywood point. kid. <laughs> what do you think the tuna? Uh, actually is. Oh, jeez. People? Could be. The souls of, uh, children. Is there a tuna in this game? I feel like we've seen a tuna. Mm. Put a tuna in Fan Aquarium 3, please. Yeah, let's get change.org up in here. A tuna would bring it to new heights, and I just... Yeah, that's like the next. Um, that's the next gen experience. Is the tuna. I want to see a tuna that 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 you know produces coins. I want to I want to see a tuna secrete coins into this tank. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see, um, in San Aquarium with the power of uh, you know, the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. Imagine, if you will, hyper realistic fish, ray tracing. <laughs> Ray tracing in San oh, Just you super realistic Sandy. water effects. <laughs> you gotta rip it. I mean, you already have that in this game. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's just gorgeous. You know you're underwater. That's the beauty. Yeah, of yeah. Hmm. You know, I think it's funny how the sides of the fish tank... Um, like, they tried to, like, give it a depth. I don't know if they if it quite works. <laughs> It's weird. It looks... Hmm. Yeah, it's like the top is kind of... It throws it off. Mm hmm But I get it. I understand. I get it. I get it. It's fine. The baby's a pop captain. know what you're doing. Or AOL, whichever. Okay. Okay, got the robot. So you can see, I have to ricochet back. It's like a, it's like a Zelda boss. <laughs> you have to ricochet back the orb, uh, so it doesn't hit the fish. Exactly like Zelda. It's it's every Zelda boss. Well, I mean, there was uh, was it Twilight Princess where you can use like the fishing rod? Uh, yes. Like what 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 was that? You could use the fishing rod for a boss, right? I don't remember the ball. Oh, it was it was the final Ganon fight. It would like look at the fishing rod. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is exactly like that. Yeah, it literally doesn't it skip a beat. It's exactly the same. You and know, the, uh, Mitchell and I. This is this is totally uh, in San Aquarium adjacent. Um, Mitchell and I, we did a tier list a few months ago for all the different Zelda games. What would you say are your favorite Zelda games? I know you really like Wind Waker. Is that your favorite one? No, not by a mile. Oh, okay. Um, I think Wind Waker is too easy. I think if, if I had to rate it as a whole, I would call it probably B tier. Um, I think the aesthetics are really good, but it's way too easy and it feels too empty at times. Um... I, my my top three Zelda games in no particular order are Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, and Link to the Past, which I don't think is, you know, I think I think that's pretty much like the standard of what everyone likes. Or, you know, you have the edgy people who like Majora's Mask. I think mm -hmm. Majora's Mask is too confusing. 
Uh, yeah, I just, I, I can't. I, 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 you, you said that on uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah, I, I feel like I've definitely talked about this before. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, where, where, where do you guys stand? Where do you guys end up? So no, you can watch the video. No, um, <laughs> no. Uh, I usually do. I must have just missed that one. The, uh, I believe, you know, we, we, of course, we put Breath of the Wild at number one. Um, sure. I mean, yeah, I know Mitch kind of doesn't care for a lot of Zelda. Yeah. Um, but then, uh, next we put, um, I think we put Link's Awakening next. No, not Link's Awakening, a Link to the Past next. Um, really good. Yeah, and then um, I know Link's Awakening was high up there though, just because that was the one that I grew up with. Um, Link's Awakening is probably an A tier, for sure. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I actually I really like um, Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess as well. Um, I, I do admit that they haven't aged particularly. Uh, gracefully <laughs> but they're still they're still good i i was surprised i was surprised I, I i played just a little bit of the the new hd remake of um skyward sword i was surprised at like how well that that game uh feels to play like i heard they improved a lot about it like a lot of non-optional dialogue is now optional mm -hmm. and like you know in general they just kind of made the game faster which, uh, you know, I think that's something that's sorely needed. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. That was that was definitely the game's uh, weakest part, honestly. I know, yeah, I know, a lot of people say that like th uh, there was like there were certain things that felt really annoying to collect, like. But I, I whenever I played the game years ago, I, I never felt that way. So I think it has some of the most creative dungeon design out of any of the Zelda yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. And I love uh, I, I I think I did talk about this before. But I, I do I really do like the motion controls uh in the game. I think they're a good idea, but in my experience it was just too I, I had a lot of issues with it. Just because it like I would do something and it wouldn't read and mm. it, it was basically I don't know. It felt like something that I wasn't in control of that sort of determined Got the outcome it. of the game. And considering how tough some of those boss fights can be, it's kind of rough. Yeah, that is... That, that. I do wonder, the people who say that they had problems like that, I do wonder, what kind of motion plus did you have whenever you played the game? I had the Wii controller with it built in. You had it built in, okay. Yep. I, I know... I know that the the the, uh, the motion plus that's like external, like isn't as good as the one built in. So I was wondering if maybe that was the issue. But if it, if you're if you had the one that was built in, then I got hung up. I can tell you exactly where I got hung up is the first boss battle against Girahim. Mm. Um, oh I just, yeah, I could see I, you. It took me a lot. It probably took me like seven tries to get that, and then even the second boss. I forget what I was, what the issue was there, but I just, I, I felt like I kept missing my bombs or just messing up in ways that just, I don't, I don't remember that fight exactly, okay. but um, I know it took me a long time to get past that one. And I didn't really have a problem until probably towards the end again. Just anytime you have to fight Girahim or anybody similar, it's just like... I mean, yeah, you could tell, you could, you could definitely tell, like... Kirahim, his all his stuff was made for like motion controls in mind. Like you, yeah. you could only do that with like motion controls. Um, and Is that how you do the HD one, the motion controls on Switch. I mean, that's that's how I I was playing it. Uh, the, you you could this new version does have just they they say button controls, but I I, I, don't, I don't really know if you could call them that. <laughs> Um, I don't think you could either. Yeah, because I mean, it's like you're, you're using like the right stick to, to do everything. I, I didn't I didn't try it, but just from what I've heard, people don't seem to like it. So, but uh, yeah, it definitely seems like if you're gonna play, you have to use the motion control. My friend's been playing through it. He might have beat it up by now, but 
I heard he was using the stick, and he's never oh. played Skyward. Okay. But he said he was liking it, so I don't, I don't know. I haven't tried it, but I feel like it would be really foreign for the first bit of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's that game, man. It's strange. Everybody has like totally different opinions for that game. <laughs> I don't know where I'd put it on a tier list. Um, I don't know. B minus. <laughs> but I don't know. I like. It's got the most cohesive story of any Zelda game. They actually focused on making a good story. It's funny because I don't remember anything about the story at all. It's got, I don't know, it's just, it has multiple characters you can just sort of see the growth. Like, you got, you got Groose, and you got, um, I like the old Impa. That's a cool mm -hmm. part of it. Um. I do remember those two characters. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, you, you get to interact more with Zelda. She's not like some She mysterious. She is an actual character she, in that game, yes. She, she has personality and is, is like a human rather than just, you know, a sign of winning, mm -hmm. which I think is good. Um, we have so many kingfish. Oh, my gosh. We do. And we the the last little yeah. shell. That's good. 26 minutes. Wow. <laughs> but, hmm. Okay, there we go. Nice. Ooh. Angie. Angie. Angie's so cute. <laughs> Angie has the ability to resurrect dead fish. <laughs> okay. I have a cousin named Angie. This is strange. Can she I resurrect she dead fish? That. I, I, I guess so. That does sound you helpful, know, okay. but I don't know. I feel like we have a win winning combo at the moment. I think we do as well. I, I don't think we should deviate from what we got. Okay, so Noah, place your bets now. Is this the the last regular level? This is the regular level. The last one? The last regular nine 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 for the for the egg. Oh jeez. What the heck? We have to do that three times. <laughs> I guess so. This is this is gonna take a while. Uh, everybody um, sit back and relax. This is this is gonna it's gonna be a long one. Pour yourself a glass of orange juice and let's go. Speaking of which, what is your casual drink of choice? Like if you just if you, like if you just have to get something that you know isn't water, what do you usually drink? Uh, <laughs> Topo Chico, which is basically water. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, that's just what I've been drinking lately. I, I, um, soda wise, gotta be Diet Coke. Diet, I've just mm. always liked Diet Coke. Um, I don't know if it's just the chemicaliness of it or, you know, the other vast number of, of things about it, but I do enjoy a good Diet Coke. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a tea kind of guy. Oh. Yeah, I like tea. <laughs> I love, I love tea. Um. Like iced tea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, and then in terms of soda, I guess Dr. Pepper is my favorite. Yeah, I, I love iced tea, dude. I I sometimes will make, um, I think it's it's this Biggie Low flavor that used to be called Plantation Mint, but they changed it to Perfectly Mint for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, back back sort of last year when everybody was doing that, but um, it's uh, basically it's like a spearmint black tea, hmm. and I've been. Every every now and again, I'll I'll um, make some iced tea out of it, and I'll like put like put honey and sugar in it, and then basically just keep brewing and boiling water, and then pouring it in, and then I just kind of let it steep overnight. Or actually, wow. I'll, I'll throw it in the freezer if I want to drink it like in an hour. 
Um, and then I'll take it out and, you know, dress it up. But it's it's so good. It's got like a mintiness. It's got, I don't know. I should make some today, honestly. <laughs> oh, I don't have plenty of that. Dang it. That's like a crucial part of it. Ooh, we I, got I am. aliens. Ooh, the classic duo. That octopus is so funny looking, dude. <laughs> Get away from my fish! You know what it might have been? I might have just played regular Insane Aquarium. Like you were saying. I mean, based on everything you said, it sounded like it was just regular Insane Aquarium. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or maybe I had it on, like, Xbox. Did this release on systems? I... Surely not, right? I have no idea. I can't imagine playing this with, like, a control stick. Yeah, it would be pretty tough. But, I mean... I am playing with a controller right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, I mean, back in the day, of course, it wouldn't have been a motion controller, is my point. Yeah, no, for sure. I... Hmm. I will have to ask Jeeves in that case. <laughs> Which incidentally is just what I'm calling the Insane Aquarium Wiki now. Because <laughs> Jeeves is dead. He is, yes. Jeeves has been murdered and now it's just ask. And it's like, who do we ask? Exactly. It's, you're not asking anybody. It's, it's a void. Yeah, you just you cry out for help and hear nothing back. Mm-hmm. Not only is the game uh, a godless universe, but so is the wiki. <laughs> and Jeeves. The Jeeves universe. Is... Oh, why is that one fish? The one that one fish wanted to die. He wanted to die. You, you can't you know, you can't stop him. I need to upgrade my gun. The final upgrade to the ray gun is just a regular gun. <laughs> that feels inhumane, but you know, it was their decision. It's brave. I commend them for that. Right. It's, it's definitely an odd direction that Pop Cap went with. Okay. I think I saw something about the NRA in the boot up menu, actually, now I think about it. <laughs> <clears throat> We're gonna have to investigate. I mean, it does look like there's alcohol on the bottom left corner of the screen, so, you know, Ooh, what, what rating yeah. What rating did this game get? Because I might have to stop right now. Uh, My mom probably... won't let me play anything above E10. I think it just slides in at E10 because, you know, oh, okay. by 10 years old, you should be drinking uh, Pirate Hooch, in uh -huh. my opinion. Uh -huh. You know, I know a bunch of people have different different takes. That's fine. Commendable, respectable. But, um, yeah, I mean. Okay, maybe, okay. It might be before the E10 rating. Oh, yeah, E10 came out, like, in... They started introducing that in like 2005 for so. They sure did. Alien signature detected. Get away, guys. Okay, we're seven minutes in. We got 5,000 coins. It's exponential. You just gotta get your footing. Okay, so tell me what what should I what should I upgrade? Hmm. Let's see. I think we need more pregos at this point. Good call. So buy like three pregos and two carnivores, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, the carnivores drop the gems, which are helpful. And then what's the next level above gems is uh, 
uh, treasure chests, which we'll see. Did, did okay? No, I have. I still have them out. I was. I, I thought one of the carnivore died already, but no, they're still alive. Uh, yeah, treasure chest is the next thing, like above gym. Uh, I saw that briefly on one level. Gonna pop out some more Pregos here just to keep things moving along. Good thinking, good thinking. All right. Oh, alien signatures detected. I I, I really love um, whichever fish is giving us the locations of the aliens. It's very helpful. Oh, jeez. That is cool. I think we lost a whole bunch of guys. Oh, no. About to find out in just a moment, but yeah, I didn't. Think we're gonna do ourselves a ray gun upgrade. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Yeah, it looks like we lost all of our pregos. Yeah, that didn't go too well, did it? Mm mm. We gotta. I Repopulate. Think, think so. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta get cooking on some new fish. There goes one of our carnivores. Who's, like, skull is that in the back? And also, if is that, like, a human skull? Because, it, like, in bones? Because if it is, then these fish are humongous. I mean, the carnivore carnivores can't be that small, and then you see the a you see the size of the aliens too. You could assume they're like humanoid type. I mean, but like you said, this game does play with dimensions, so it does. So maybe, like judging by the shadows on the floor, it looks like you could potentially be like five feet in front of that. What I don't understand is how small <laughs> the Pregos are in, in relation to how big they can get. Hmm. I need to get more food. What? Do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah. They just flock there. It's maddening, I tell you. I do have to say, I'm doing pretty good with the motion controls. It took me a while to get used to them. Um, whenever I, like, enabled them uh, a few days ago, but I feel like I got it down. That's good. Ooh. Okay. Okay. 